Oh, hi! Welcome to our kitchen. Today we're going to turn this into... You want to wear clothes that you don't mind getting messy. So that's why I'm in my PJs and not because I've just been sitting on the couch since I woke up this morning. For this project you need some canvases or whatever else you feel like painting. Some acrylic paint. Paint palette? Optional. And some paintbrushes. You may be like, hey, that one on your left, your on your right, in your right hand, but our left, maybe, it looks a lot like a toothbrush, and that's because it is. And I'll show you the cool thing you can do with a toothbrush when you're doing slatter, slatter paint, slatter paint. <laughs> you also want a pen or marker and some paper and some tape. First, you want to find an area in your house that you can cover with newspaper and protect the floor. To Kathy and Kevin. This will be cleaned up before you get home. I was gonna do this outside to avoid all of this, but it's still really cold outside and I don't wanna go out there. Ow! Oh, my arms! I just broke a sweat trying to open this. Just get a bunch of paint on your brush and then flick it. I got it on me. Eh. Now that we have some of the bigger splotches down, go ahead and take your old gross toothbrush and you're just going to run your finger across all the bristles. And you can also, oh this looks so gross, you can also flick the side of the bristles. Phase one is complete! Leave your canvases out somewhere that they can dry for a while and uh, go take a shower because you look disgusting. Congratulations! Now you look presentable to other human beings. Your canvas should still be drying. My paint is my paint is getting there, but it's still a little bit tacky. Before we do anything else with that, we're gonna get our newspaper and our pens and make some fucking stencils. Stencil making time. Once you're done reading your Cabela's Deer Camp flyer, take it out, put something the same size as your canvas or your actual canvas. Trace around it. Forgot to mention, you also need scissors for this part. I also recommend keeping some green beans on hand in case you get peckish. Now hopefully by this point, you've had enough time to figure out what you want your painting to say. I'm actually gonna be writing the same thing that was on that pajama shirt I had on this morning. Be in love. Also, second Loxley t-shirt of the day. It's cause they're the fucking best. Once you have your canvas shape cut out and the newspaper, you wanna decide how big you want your border to be. Now figure out the spacing for your words. You probably can't really see what I have on here, but once you have all your letters sketched out into the spaces, go ahead and cut each one out. I'm going to assume most of you are sane and don't have a ridiculously unnecessary craft product like this. Basically it puts sticky shit on the back of whatever you put through it. I was just gonna use tape, but since I found this, I might as well use it. Great, now grab your hopefully dry canvas and start applying your letters. If you're using tape, just try to make sure that all the edges are down so that when you paint over all of this, none of the paint seeps underneath. So I cheated a little bit and I already put the first coat down. But now that this is pretty dry, I'm gonna do one more coat. When you're going over your letters, paint away from them, especially if you use tape to hold them down because it'll keep the paint from seeping underneath. And now let your second coat dry. Apologies for the background noise. I'm a professional and decided to start my laundry right in the middle of filming this. I've hopefully let this sit for long enough. Now it's time to slowly peel the letters off and see how gorgeous and beautiful the underside is. I'm gonna use a knife. Ta-da! I'm going to meet one of my best friends, Jess, for ice cream in like two hours, so this will be dry enough for me to give to her. I hope she really likes it. I'm pretty excited with how this came out. Hey guys, it's just coffee for once. Okay, but really, it's just coffee.